This week is the 25th anniversary of Michael Jackson's history album. Um, obviously, you guys know I'm a, I'm a huge fan, diehard fan. In fact, been a diehard fan for, 30, for almost 40 years. Um, and the history album is Michael Jackson's woke album. It's actually his woke. It's it's it's, it's, it's his most personal album. Obviously, obviously, every album he's done has always had some personal tinge to it. But this album is the, is the one that's you know. I've always said that history was not an album to really enjoy in the same way you enjoy off the wall thriller or even bad. Okay, like you won't, you know, you know, you go, you go to a discotheque or whatever, you go to a, a club and you play, you know, Billy Jean or whatever, and you know, obviously you enjoy when to dance to the music. I've always thought that Michael Jackson's history album was something for you to sit down and listen to, and listen to the lyrics. And that, that, that's just an album that tackles so many different uh, themes. It's, it's, it's. I've called this album for years an emotional roller coaster, and as I got older, this album's aged even better because a lot of things that go on today. <clears throat> like climate change and just the argument on climate change and saving our planet, you know, police brutality, uh, oppression, loneliness, you know, mental health. All those things were, were captured on this album. And this album is, 20, again, 25 years old, 1995. Um, this was obviously his response to the allegations um, in 93, his first response, public response in terms of, you know, material. Um so it's it, it's very it, it it's funny the, the, the album is such a ge- it's it's so I look back now as I'm, as I'm forty years old I look back at this album like it, it's so genius is this best work In my opinion no it's it, it's it definitely is some of the most creative work obviously but I don't think it's his best album I mean my, my favorite album is off the wall personally um but the genius of the album is, is in the sequence too especially the, I mean the album starts up, starts up with scream it's very no, no, when I say album I mean it's, it's a two disc it's a two disc album. Disc one obviously is all the older stuff at the time, you know, everything off the dangerous, off the wall, throwing bad. Um, and, uh, you know, but the, uh, the disc two is where it really, is really where the, the material lies. You know, Scream to start off, and they don't care about us. They don't care about us. Like the album comes out, st- comes out with anger, guns are blazing. Then you go to Stranger in Moscow, which is very, a, a ballad, very, uh, probably one of his most underrated songs that he's never done. Um, very like depressing. Then back to the you know heavy you know groove of this town around. Then you go to Earth Song, which is my favorite song on the entire record. Talking about climate change and all you know, saving my planet and all that. Then it gets angry again, and the album goes to ebbs and flows of that, of that way. It goes angry, then it gets soft. It gets angry and soft, and then melancholy. And then the album ends with a song called Smile. It's not, it's not an original song. It's, it's actually Charlie Chaplin, but. The fact that the, the album ends with the song called "Smile." So the beginning is the first song is "Scream" and the last song is "Smile." I mean, that, it's, it's genius. It's absolute genius. Um, history is the biggest selling um, double album in history of music. It sold two million copies. So technically, it's forty million copies if you want to count both this. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's an unread record. It really is. Um, and it, as I said, it's aged well within with, within years. So, yeah, that, that that's uh, twenty five years. I remember that, that's actually the first album I think I actually bought with my own money. If I'm, I'm not mistaken, so I was fifteen that album came out. Obviously, I bought all the all the other records, but I didn't buy them with my own money. My mom bought those records for me. Me I actually went to walk, in, walk into a store and buying it at Fye or you know, you know Sam Goody, whatever you know. So 